Welcome back. It's nice to see you again. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you one of the many amazing features within Google Chrome's developer tools. It's called network throttling. Network throttling is when you intentionally limit the connection speed between the browser and the servers it's trying to reach to simulate a slower network. Now, why would you want to do this? If you're building a website that will be accessed from desktops and mobile phones from around the world, your users won't all have the same internet speed at home versus in a busy downtown versus the other side of the world can be significantly different. And network throttling is an excellent way to understand how your website behaves when it's accessed from slower internet connections. It also helps you empathize with your users and can help you figure out how to optimize your website to provide a better experience for all your users. I will use BBC News as an example today because it's a dynamic website which makes lots of requests behind the scenes, including lots of photos. Let's open Chrome Developer Tools. Right click anywhere on the website and select Inspect. Then navigate to the Network tab. You don't see any information here at the moment because DevTools only gathers data when it's open. You'll notice that it says No Throttling and there's a drop down. We'll stick to No Throttling for now, which means the network speed is 130 megabits per second, which is what I have here at home. Now we will reload the page, but in order to make this a fair test across different network speeds, we will right click on the reload icon and select empty cache and hard reload. This will simulate a user visiting this website for the very first time. There is a lot of data here. The only number we'll concern ourselves with today is the load time, which is how long it took the website to load completely, including the images. Without throttling, the load time is 2.08 seconds. Now, let's throttle our network speed to simulate a fast 3G connection, where the average speed is 3 megabits per second. On a fast 3G connection, the load time is 11.22 seconds. Now, let's throttle our network speed to simulate a slow 3G connection where the average speed is 376 kilobits per second. On a slow 3G connection, the load time is 40.69 seconds. There you have it. Now you know how a slow network connection affects your website. You can leverage the rest of the Chrome developer tools to pinpoint the request that could be optimized to better serve your users with slower internet connections. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, please help me out by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe.